All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 4v4 on the map Mega Random between me and the viewers. This is going to be a mixed rated match, of course, so it's going to feature players from a wide variety of skill levels. And hopefully these teams are relatively well balanced. Of course, this match was played on my Twitch TV live stream. I'd love to have you guys here as I do stream regularly. You can find my schedule by heading on over to my Twitch page, link on the screen or in the video description, and then scrolling underneath the video player to go find my schedule. I love this, uh, this whole, like, lobby thing where, like, it freezes as you launch the game. They'll fix it eventually, guys. Soon. Soon, TM. Alright, let's do this. You can see if that has Mamluks. I wonder which one that would be, a Flapjack. Uh-oh. Degsy. Degsy, no! Degsy, what? Oh, no, no, there we go. JG. Uh, so, Mega Random, of course, is a map where anything is possible. And sometimes... What is this? Is this hideout? This isn't hideout at all, is it? I see shallows. What the hell is this? <laughs> well, sometimes on Mega Random, you get whatever this monstrosity is. But what, what am I looking at? I see shallows over there. I'm surrounded by palisade walls. This sort of looks like hideout, but I know it's not. Uh, okay. Scouting around. I don't know. I don't know, Junkie. I don't know if this is actually hideout. But I'm gonna roll with it. This is like the leaves texture, Flash? Yeah, the cursor is not shit brown anymore, yes. I didn't end up uh, fixing that outside of the stream. Wait, did I kill that sheep? Oh, whatever. Not even gonna bother uh, harvesting for only one sheep at a time. I don't really see the point. Well, build a lumber camp, sure. It's too much micro for all these views. How many views did I start with anyway? I think I started with 10? Fascinating. So if I started with 10, then uh, I'll put those bills over there. Is this, is this a water map? It's always a water map. <laughs> I really want a mega random where they take all the water maps out. As I'm, I'm more of a land map player myself. Oh, that's that's convenient. If only I could uh, grab those. <laughs> huh, interesting. Well, one thing I would like to do, since you guys in the Twitch chat, of course, voted for me to play as the Chinese, I'll, I'll squeeze in some of the other civs that you guys have suggested soon as well. You know, we'll do some Spanish, whatever you guys want to see. Uh, I would like to showcase Chuko News. Oh, Overjoy CP, recognize it. Well, that's awesome. And thank you, Havards Jeff, for the sub. Really appreciate it, dude. Means a lot to me. Um... I don't know, I just really, like, Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright is probably one of my favorite games ever, and it's just such a cool crossover. I love it, man. Wow, and another donation, $10. Thank you, Havard. I'm really flattered, man. Ah, I'm gonna try and win this game for you, as uh, this, this reveal taking some taking some damage. Gonna lure this here boar in. We're good to go. So I'm not honestly sure what kind of map I'm dealing with, but I'm scouting around to try and figure that out. And I'm still a little bit confused. So I know that's a teammate. I have a lot of deer. Just three food short of the villager. Uh, I mean, I have a lot on wood. I have an excessive amount of villagers on wood because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to dock or not. But maybe there is no fish on this map at all. Huh. Is this just a moat? <laughs> oh, he's like, you're like three feet in front of me, man. What is this? <laughs> you have my personal space, bro. Bombard Tower Rush? Dude, have I ever made Bombard Towers on a on stream? I don't know if I've ever done. I don't know if I've ever done that. Honestly, not sure. Yeah, here's the lag, guys. Oh, bring some of those sheep underneath the TC. I, I guess I don't need all these bills on uh, wood, then. Uh, build over here. Prep for this. Of course, it goes without saying that my attention is divided between playing the game, reading the Twitch chat, and trying to provide a meaningful commentary, so... Pardon me, 
if I make some silly mistakes, but for the most part, there should be plenty to learn uh, uh, from watching this anyway. And it should also be quite entertaining. That's the idea, at least. I would like to showcase something fun and interesting today, and that would be Chuka News. I want to do something with Chuka News. So I'm just going to go real hard on the deer. Let's see where life takes me. Build another house. Oh, wait, no, so there is water. But I don't see any fish yet. You know, Mega Random likes to bait me all the time where it gets me to build a dock and then there's no fish in said water. And my scout has yet to detect any fish, which makes me a little paranoid. I'm just gonna bring all the sheep under the TC. Screw it, man! If I miss some of your messages in Twitch chat, nothing makes me sadder than when you stop by my stream. You say hi and I miss your message because I'm trying to play this game. So please do, pardon me. Feel free to say hi again or just ask me whatever question again, uh, and I will hopefully get to it. Yeah, subscribing is much more, I guess, helpful than donations if you're able to renew it, but, uh, you know, if you're not, that's fine too. I appreciate everybody, whether or not you, uh, I guess, contribute via money or not. I'll just put all these bills on sheep, I guess. I wonder if something with Chuko News. Is it all shallows? I have no idea. <laughs> the boar killed all my bills. No. Wait, so is there fish? <laughs> What's gonna happen is we're gonna... Okay, so he does have a duck. I was gonna say, we're, you know, the, we're gonna win the game or lose, right? And then at the end, when it reveals the entire map, I'm gonna see that this map was just full of fish. And I'm gonna be really, really sad. It's always a water map, box girl. Always. Tribute to dank memes. <laughs> I, I, you probably don't need this one villager, but you know, screw it. You know, slightly stronger economy ain't such a bad thing. I want to drop some Shuko news on this guy, but I don't know if I really can. I don't know if he's going to rush me either. Palisade walls are more of like a warning. They don't actually stop a rush. They just... Well, they can stop maybe a militia rush, but they can't do too much else. Well, let's see. I really wonder if I should be docking here. I, I don't know if that's a mistake. Cause considering that there's all this, all these shallows, right? I don't know how many fish there necessarily are, but you, you do get a, a decent amount of map control from docking. As I could, you know, station some galleys here and uh, really just poke at everybody on the enemy team. I'll make some scorpions, don't worry. Game's ending makes me contemplate life, yeah. Hey, Sainsbury, good to see you. Hello, Molletsmos. Okay. I remember, uh, I think it was like Delta stopped by last week, but I missed his high, and it, it made me sad. Alright, well, doing more scouting and junk. There's a map called Dry Random. It's Mega Random on land. Dude, could you private message me that on Twitch? Or like Facebook or something so I can go check that out. Dry Random. Mmm. Hey, regular panda. Well, I could build a house. Bearheads, do you really need do you really need houses to win? Or are they just are they just a crutch that holds us back? Oh, you don't need to advance to the Imperial Age, man. It might also be a crutch that holds you back. And hello, man. Or M Man. So we're scouting, we're building stuff, and we're ready to go to that castle-age. Castle age. Oh yeah. Build those buildings. Degsy's walls open for some reason, I don't know if that's a bug. He's actually missing a palisade. Uh, my opponents are scouting me, but they haven't done anything with them, so I'm okay with that. Not really sure what the game plan is. Oh, yes, I do, Uberlord. But I have, uh, okay. Steam friends list size is limited, which is really annoying. Uh, I'm working on expanding it. I know I said this before, but I've just been so busy with the Empire Collective Cup. I need to add more space to my friends list, so I'm working on that. Uh, I'm being poked by something. It's not a galley, it's probably a scout. 
I, I will let you guys know. I'll, I'll make like a post or something, or I'll let you know during the stream at least. Uh, when I have space on my friends list, because I do want to include all my subs, yes. Have you private message? Oh, you just uh, click on my name in the Twitch chat. Uh, there should be like... If you go to my, if you like, go to my stream, like at the top of my stream, there should be a thing that says Resonance 22, blah, 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 blah. If you like go to that, you can like open it in a new tab. There should be like a message option there, I think. Not really sure. Or you can just message me on Facebook if you can't figure that out. Why are they all scouting me? Oh, that's my teammate. Whew. So we get that good old cartography. Oh, yeah, I love me some cartography. I want to make Chuko news. Re like, really badly. I like scorpions, perhaps. Oh, wall of houses can certainly be useful. Uh, however, that could be kind of expensive, so generally you'll probably want to, you know, throw in some palisades with it too, uh, rather than make it all, uh, all houses. I keep checking, thinking he's like gonna go in, but he's just poking at my walls, trying to spam that notification sound that says I'm under attack. All right, so uh, it's time to. Chop that forest a little bit. He's just trying to- is he trying to like take 20 HP exactly off all of my walls? Dude, no problem Overjoyed Soup. I said it would. Took me a bit, but uh, that's why we have the Res Suit emote, man. Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get stone mining. Ooh. What is it now? Alright, Memoriam. Oh, alright, alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. I see how it is. This guy is about to get shanked. I'm working on a Dutch glass. I'm crafting badges like no one's business. I've been trading for trading cards for like forever. I'm gonna find out that he has like forging or, or bloodlines or something and then he wins this fight. I can't click on his scout for some reason. Am I winning this? How did he win that? I totally hit him first. Or at least I thought I did. What? Cause I, I, I right clicked on him. I thought he was moving away. I, I guess that wasn't the case. So that that's unfortunate. <sighs> I should probably put down a town center rather than waiting to build said castle. Is there a good place for this that doesn't suck? Where I can, like, put farms near it? Yeah, I don't... Yeah. That's good enough, I guess. What's that noise? That's a spearman! Interesting. What if I just... What if I just repair this? <laughs> what happens in that case? Do I, do I just win? Well, thank you, uh, MVRA. Uh, I, I, I don't need any cards or uh, emoticons. It's fine, but I appreciate the offer. Yeah, fine, fine. I guess I will build a town center. <laughs> thank you, Sainsbury, for the subscription. Really appreciate it. Uh, joke's on you, buddy. It's going to take you forever to get through that. Keep trying to press the, uh, press control one so that I can go to my scout, but there is no scout. He's dead. Shucks. Well, I guess I put the castle, like, somewhere over here. I don't want to put it in treb range, but I also want to protect my economy. It's going to be in treb range no matter what I do, man. That sucks. Whoa, I have too many bills on stone since they all auto-assign to stone So that TC was built. Some crazy slowdown over there. Uh, da, 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 da. Build this. Build that. Build that. Okay, so I just reassign some of those bills onto Zeus. Should probably keep repairing that. So is he is he trying to like is he trying to like flush me here? I think he's trying to flush me, which is uh, which is pretty cool. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Like that's the thing. Yeah, every now and then I get it. I get it. I get a comment like, "Oh my god, you know, where's the knights?" Just having fun, man. That's why I have uh, videos of just you know miscellaneous expert gameplay because yeah, if you want to see expert gameplay, I have that. But I'm also just having fun. As uh, first and foremost, I thought you're supposed to have fun when you play games. Don't we all, Rose Baron? Don't we all? So I got this. Got this castle. Ooh, headshot, sir. Nice try. Alright, give me some of this. Fletch me. 
Fletch me, dude. Fletch this. Hello, tough man. Oh, that's great. <laughs> is this the counter? I don't know, man. It might be. You know, for what it's worth, though, for every silly comment that I get, I really, really, really appreciate the people who take the time to uh, answer some of them for me. And who do a really good job and put a lot of effort into it. Uh, it saves me a lot of time, and it just it, it just feels really good. I'm surrounded by a truly wonderful community, and I'm very blessed. Alright, so we're, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're getting some powerful units out. I like this, I like this. Why does the enemy team look so scary? So this is what I'm talking about, man. You look at the lobby and, and the ratings. The ratings don't mean anything at all. It's just like, they're just arbitrary numbers. Uh, yeah. Like, look at Flashlight. Flashlight looks like he's unstoppable. Jolly Canadian, again, has like the same rating as everybody else, but you know, he's a little on the lower side, you know, top stage again, you know, just... There's no 1500 and 1600 that's created equal. It's just funny how that works out. Yeah, Flashlight's just having a, having a ball over here. What is he doing? Ermagerd. Scorpions, that's that's pretty that's pretty baller. Is he building a house? Uh oh. Someone better help him. Alright, guys. Purple needs all of you. So we get that uh bodkin arrow, I think. Sounds like a good technology to go grab. So I'm gonna start poking through these walls. Thank you, regular panda. Indeed, Flash is like a big orgy. Uh, I like the Byzantines besides the Britons uh, and Frisbee because they have a wide variety of units. Uh, I like that they get to the Imperial Age quick. Uh, yeah. They're a very defensive civilization. I like that. I think that they're you know fairly decent on most maps. Not like amazing, but just decent. And yeah, I like that. You know, they're a reasonably flexible civilization. So he's trying to build light cavalry to counter my Chuko news, and that's honestly a decent thought. I wonder if that'll pay off. But I have Bodkin Arrow, and he doesn't have any defense upgrades, so I should actually be mostly okay in this situation. Alright, teammates, what are we going to do about our poor top stage over here? Make him in at arms, trying his best, but Flashlight is going in dry. This map is Mega Random White Knight. Head taker, I, I loosely based my AI off myself, so uh, he uses some of my favorite strategies and builds. Although this is something that I'm always tweaking, as uh, his unit choices could certainly be improved. Uh, I have an irrational love for skirmishers, so so does my AI, but that being said, I'm still planning to improve it, and I will. So that Mangano was a good choice, uh, certainly, to stop my attack. I think he's all walled up. I actually don't think I can necessarily get in here. I think one of the ways that I put on some serious pressure is with a siege workshop of my own. So I'm going to go try and do that. Am I just not able to get in here at all? I just might not be able to. Interesting. Uh, get gold mining. So the thing is, is the way I position my guys, if you build a mangonel, I can still kind of gun it down. Considering that I'm, uh, you know, making Chuko news, so... Alright, where's the assistance, my friends? Gray, this is an emergency. Your friend Purple is dying. He needs you. Alright, so I'm gonna try and, like, burst through his walls the other direction. I don't know if that's gonna work. We're gonna try. Probably not Havard's Jeff. I don't know how much demand there is for that, but I'd be... I guess... I mean, I'm willing to do another Twitch Plays AOE. I don't know. So I wonder if I can just, you know... Go back in the other way. I feel like I need to protect my economy with some castles and crap. There's no way I'm safe with these Palisade Walls. I can't just delude myself. So throw in like a battering ram or something, and we'll see if I can 
Worm my way in another way. Maybe I can do some flanking mumbo jumbo. I don't really know. All right, we're in, we're in. Ooh. Oh, the delay. Split, my friends. That is too late to split. Oh, I'm going to pretend that I did it on purpose. <laughs> Thank you, Hello Nasty One. I appreciate it. Uh, Aces, I, I like to watch uh, Trump and Raynad. I also like to watch Dog. Day Nine's also a fun one. There, there are a lot of Hearthstone streams that I watch. So we're going in this direction. Oh. Get him. I don't know if I want to, like, keep going on Memoriam all game. Uh, I think the flashlight is scary as fuck. Uh, good to see that top stage ain't giving up or really complaining too hard. As uh, he does need some serious assistance from the rest of his dudes. I'm gonna see if I can sneak around uh, in poke in green or something. Actually, I'll poke at yellow first. Uh, Neon Ghost, I, I really, it just takes practice. Uh. I mean, you can just, you know, hold down shift to, you know, cue five things at the same time. I find that helps. Okay, so... I think I got this upgrade. I know I need it. Uh, this... It's time to start mining that. I haven't built houses in a long time, have I? In fact, I should probably just build another town center entirely. Uh, I mean, I might as well finish blowing up that mining camp, but then I should really move on to something else. So there are some elite skirms over there. Hopefully the rest of my team, I mean, I don't know where Gray's army is, but, uh... Gray, he really needs your help now. I know, I know, I like to play Farming Simulator too, but, uh, it's time, my friend. Unleash hell. Alright, so that army inevitably going to get cleaned up by those elite skirms, as it did. Not a huge deal. Oh, you got my mangano though. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. So I'm putting some pressure on him, but I want to attack the rest of his teammates as well. Gray, he really... He really needs you to make a military. Degzy, You really should make some military. Purple needs you. Alright, good, 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 good! Uh, looks like his reinforcements have arrived, indeed. I'm actually just, like, so close to Imp. But I just want to get there. I really need Handcart as well. Certainly on the to-do list. All right, so uh, we'll see if I can uh, worm my way in here and do something cheeky with said dudes. Ballistics is also going to be quite strong, I think, so I want that. Because I have too many lumberjacks. So now I can get a handcart. Hmm, elite skirms are bad for me. All 
don't have any active stone miners anymore. Besides, like, those three. Someone should stop that. Oh yeah, I know right, uh, MK and Junkie, but he's not 1800. I think he was like one of the, one of the 15, 1600 dudes? I don't remember which one he was. He's no big deal. I mean, like, I, the thing is with rating is it's always very hard to tell. People have their rating for multiple reasons, and that's why Vubli, you know, has a different ladders system for, like, scenarios, deathmatch, and random map and whatnot. Thank you, Headhog, for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh, AOE 2 does split between, um, uh, random map and deathmatch, but I think we need to go perhaps a step f further a little bit? I don't know. Because, like, some players play, like, only certain types of maps. Uh, for example, some players just haven't played a specific number of games. That's why, I guess, on Vooblade, it's nice you can see how many games they've played, too. Uh, helps with making sure that there's less smurf action. Action, action. So I'm in his base. Killing this dude. Oh, green has ships. I like that. Sounds like fun. Flashlight's certainly better than he appears, but it's gonna be for multitude of reasons. That's also why uh, Vubli has like a, a new player lobby and then a, you know, so I guess like, you can pick your starting rating, right? Like, uh, you have to start in the new player lobby. It makes things makes things a little bit nicer. As you know, someone who comes like fresh, right, is 1600, uh, and there can be a huge difference between various types of 1600 players. So I'm actually gonna back up a little bit, try and regroup, get some uh, upgrades. I think, you know, build my economy a little bit. I think that the pressure is gonna start petering off a little bit. I think I've done uh, enough damage to him for now, and that what I need to do is get huge. I'm gonna win this game. Uh, although, you know, when I say win this game, I think it's going to be resoundingly difficult. It's gonna be quite hard. Because my team is crumbling under the pressure. See some double Manganel action. I can start throwing in counter units. I mean, Manganel's a decent against his Manganel, so it's not, you know, a huge deal, but it's something that's on the to-do list. I don't think I ever built that university, but I need it for ballistics. Otherwise, I'm going to keep getting juked. These guys in split formation, um, so that they get less AoE'd by said Manganel's. Hello, Ferry Me Across. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Nietzsche Chow, for welcoming uh, him or her, too. I do, Head Taker. It's really hard to play and stream at the same time. It requires too much. Too much micro and attention. Stop, stop. Do not deploy. I misclicked. How much is this? Oh, it's reasonably cheap. Not bad. So how's this going? See some spears. Cool, cool, cool. Nice thing is Chukunus aren't that bad against Onigers, honestly. It's not terrible. Like, the Chuka is a reasonable amount of hit points. It also has, uh, you know, fires, rapid fire shots, so the pierce armor on the Manganel isn't, like, too crazy. And I think, uh, I think this, this kills the teal. He's trying to build a castle here. I would like to stop that if, if I can. I might not be able to. That sucks. I probably deployed this trip too close then, considering that that castle is most certainly going up. Oh, that sucks. All right, Vel, just back up a little bit. Throw an Otreb, I think. Uh, how much is rocketry? Oh, that's actually affordable. Not bad. So I still need more villagers. You need about like a hundred minimum per game. Ideally, you know, something like half the max pop of the game is good. It's a good ballpark. All right, did park that too close. Did not check if that castle was actually going to go up. I mean, I might, Fox Girl. I might. We'll see. Streaming is super fun. It's really hard to play and stream at the same time. It is one of the hardest things I've ever done. I think it's fun. It's a challenge. I want to protect my economy. In case, uh, in case I get raided.
Okay, so I'm gonna need to regroup a little bit, uh, get ballistics and a bunch of other upgrades. Start really uh, expanding a little bit. Sign this guy over there, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, good, good. The other unique tech that they gave us in the Forgotten, of course, is uh, the Great Wall, which will not be useful here at all, as I don't think it applies to Palisades. I think it's only like stone and fortified walls. It gives them extra HP. It's a situationally good upgrade. Uh, it's a mega fortified wall. I love this navy here. That's actually hilarious. If we had a bunch of pikes, which I guess Gray does, that could be pretty good here. As pikes actually do have an attack bonus versus ships, it's never relevant, but sometimes, sometimes it is. Someone's trading me through really heavily. I think it's Gray. Well, Cam. Yeah, Cam's good. Should probably be considering grabbing relics as well. It's not, like, huge in the priority list, I guess. What is this? Oh, that's my teammates! Oh, my friend, uh, Degzy. I appreciate the battering rams, but uh, they need you over on that side. As... Oh, alas, poor purple. Send us some tribute. These guys need to back up. They just want to die. Yeah, I, I, I need to get Thumb Ring. You're right. It's very hard to remember to get all these upgrades like when I'm streaming, man. But they try. So we're bringing in these dudes. In the meantime, team sort of stabilized. I need something to clear out that navy. I guess that's what Gray's Pikes are for, I think. Well, I don't necessarily know where Gray's Pikes are. Oh, they're in my base. Gray, we will probably need your full army completely on the other side. This blue pots. I appreciate his help, though. I do. I do appreciate the help, though. Always try to. I always try to be like super courteous and nice to my teammates. There is actually another person on the other side of that monitor. Do I need to throw an onagers? That's what I'm, like, less sure about. I don't know if I necessarily need to throw an onagers, but, you know, I feel like onagers is a tech that almost always comes in handy. So, I, I do see some justification for this. It's like, I wasn't sure if they were going to try and counter me with more catapults, or if he's just going to go straight into cavaliers. It looks like he is. So, I should also probably consider throwing in a bunch of barracks. I could go for, uh, halbs, I think. So, uh, that's like a huge delay. Yes. Purple's talking about how Gloopot was in my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like Gray's army is uh, put to waste here, uh, to a degree. In fact, I have to start pulling out and assisting on this area, I think. I don't even know if I'm able to continuously apply pressure here. What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's so cute! Wait, when did they start doing that? Fascinating. Well, I'll go send some guys over there then. I do like that this map has a reasonable amount of gold. This is actually an interesting uh, mega random map. And sometimes they do come out really good. So, I like that. Build a navy. Oh, oh, no, no, not on my watch, buddy. <laughs> nice try, Fleshlight. Oh, wait, that's... Wait, that's Gray's Siege Workshop? But Teal had a watchtower there. Cool! <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. What? I thought that was an enemy Siege Workshop. Fascinating. Okay, um...
Okay, so I'm gonna move in on that side, yeah. And start killing Orange, I guess? Whoa, Hedgehog! That's a really generous donation, $65! He says, you do an amazing job, look forward to joining this amazing community. You all seem awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. That's really, really nice of you. Like, seriously, I, I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll update the donations list uh, within, uh, within the next few days. Like, seriously, thank you. You guys have been, you guys have been awesome. That, that is, that is a horrifying army. Do I make Chinese demo ships to deal with this? Is that a thing? All right, so this is why I threw in autographs uh, for these, the skirms. This orange is, yeah, orange is the guy who loves skirms. All right, so I probably have to divert a huge chunk of my attention over here. Yeah, I, I put a lot of work uh, into my channel, uh, but I, I really think that it, it, it's worthwhile. Especially just to spend time with you guys. It's really, really fun. Well, uh, Jesus. I guess Halberdiers won't be, uh, bad in this situation. I guess. Just snag that. Okay, I need upgrades. But thanks to that donation, I might be able to afford them. So many battering rams. Undeploy, undeploy! Okay, so I'm massing up reinforcements. I don't want them to just die. Uh, I don't want that. I want the other one. Uh, head taker. Uh, oh yeah, I'll be able to stream when I go to college. I'll fi I'll figure out some way, man. I think camels do have an attack bonus versus ships. I'm mostly sure of that. This is a pretty crazy game, honestly. Uh, this is really difficult. I changed that gather point. Half the time, your clicks don't do anything in HD. I've noticed that. All right, Gloopot man, I'm uh, I'm on the way. Moving in. Jesus. All right, how about this? Look at that navy, dude. Monk, I need a monk. Onagers are pretty good in this case too. Yeah. Get enough of them, it's a good way to deal with these elven archers. You know, early game guys, it's all about the. Uh, it's all about making what's strong for your civilization. And then the late game, it's all about counters, counters, counters. Because once your opponents have enough money to be able to tech into whatever they want, uh, you know, resources are finite. Of course, uh, it starts to matter a lot more uh, in the in the late game. But in the early game, it's a lot harder for your opponent to just you know tech into whatever counters and just change their army comp up at will. Uh, I don't want to tell everybody where my uh, what college I go to ferry me across. Not that I don't trust you guys, but more because when I'm on campus, in case anyone goes to my school, uh, you know, I'm usually tired and I'm just like there, and I'm not really like in the mood to just chit chat about whatever. Uh, so I'd rather keep that like a separate thing, because I, I most certainly trust you guys. Well, that's just... Jeez, this guy's navy is crazy. <laughs> this guy's navy is crazy. My land army can't win against an army like that. <laughs> you know, Flashlight might be incredibly, like, either smurfing or just his hasn't played any games. But I like his playstyle. This dude knows how to have fun. He's living the dream. Look at this guy's army. It's not Harbor. Hey, Jaco! Good to have you. So, uh, this is probably the wrong decision, but, you know, it's objectively the fun decision. <laughs> Misuse of the word objectively, but you know. This is, uh, this is the, this is the awesome decision. We're making demo ships. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Alright, it won't, but you know. 
Get careening so we can get in there faster. Yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. Why are these guys over here? Nobody knows. So actually, I'm getting marginally better at grabbing relics in games, but again, it's just it's so much junk to, to worry about on stream. Yes. I'm getting marginally better about that. Now, I do want this upgrade, and now we just... What's the hotkey for this? Oh, it's D. There's just like an 18 second delay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Hard Style Strategy says, Resident 22, I'd really like to see you play Try Hard Game. Uh, where, against someone of your ELO. Uh, a game where you wouldn't have to do live commentary. Yeah, that would be fun. I might do that at some point. The thing is, is though, is that I think that... I have a very good, I guess, understanding of the game, but when it comes to mechanical skill, that's something that I lack. My execution isn't very good. But that's mostly because, well, I mean, it's better than a lot of people's, but it's no, I'm no pro. And that's because, uh, you know, I just don't, I guess, play practice enough. Uh, I, I play for fun. However, I do watch this game religiously, and really, like, I'm more here for the commentary rather than to, you know, wow you guys with that incredible, you know, 3 billion APM. That being said, I am open to doing something like that for sure. Alright, well, uh, we're going aquatic. I don't know if that's good or bad. Wow, Degsy has a fetish for rams. Without backup, mind you, but yes. Like no wood now. Jesus. Degsy, you are needed on the other side. The green menace is powerful. You are our only hope. Degsy, it is your destiny. Oh shit, fuck, no! No, that's cheating! That's cheating! Flashlight. Now you have to wait until I reach critical mass! He's uncovered our plan. Our cover's been blown, guys. I repeat, our cover's been blown. Jesus! Alright, we're moving out. <laughs> Get him! Oh, come on, man! Don't fail me now! Kaboom! Kaboom! Is this doing anything? I can't really tell. Kaboom! Ah, so much power! Fuck, I forgot he was in this game! That's why I got masonry. But I didn't get architecture! Did that do anything? I, I don't actually know. No, I agree, hard style strategies, yes. Generally, for the educational side of things, I try to do commentaries of, like, pro games, and then uh, for the more fun side of things, I do, like, a first person game. But I think you can still learn plenty from just watching me uh, you know, play fun matches. But generally, I try to keep the, the expert games more or less focused on that. That being said, again, I am totally... Totally open to doing uh, some serious-ish. You know, I honestly, like, I can't really tell what this is accomplishing. It, I mean, it feels good. I think that it does feel really good, like what I'm doing right now with these demo ships. I've always wanted to use the Chinese demo ships. In fact, just, I don't know if you guys have used demo ships against land units, but it just feels good. I don't know what it's accomplishing, but it feels good. God, fuck, why is he still in this game? Oh no, Memoriam, please. No. No. 
Behave you what you want. Give these people air. I also have to give major credit to Purple uh, for just not complaining, just toughing it out in the entire game, dude. Like, yeah, and he didn't get particularly a lot of help. Blue Pot came to his aid as well. Oh! No, that's cheating! Uh, Blue Pot came to his aid, but he didn't get too much help, you know, so uh, I appreciate him not complaining, just toughing it out. You know, he's trying to build back in the game by building a, building a large economy. Lots of villagers. When you're behind, you always should be focusing on the economy side of things. I can't fight all these guys at the same time. I... I can't do this. That didn't do anything! <laughs> Where's my civilization where demo ships just do double damage? I don't want more HP, I want more firepower. I also want my mouse clicks to register. No! Green is the secret weapon. Oh, this game is long! Thought he was dead. Now I need siege weapons. Apparently I'm sending villagers into this battle. I don't really know when I did that. But I guess they're they're in the battle now. Flashlight is a wrecking ball. Eh. Oh, okay, if you're one of those guys who happens to be tremendously better than your rating, uh, in the name of progress and good things, so that, uh, my viewers can have a fun game, because that's what's most important, is that my viewers can have a fun quality game. Because, you know, like, it's not too often that people get to play with, I mean, like, that people get to play with me, I guess, like, this is a lot of people's first time, so I want to make sure that every game that they get counts, and it's, like, super good and memorable. Uh, in the interest of keeping the quality high, if you happen to be, like, flashlight and tremendously better than your rating appears, please let me know. In the name of fun and goodwill, I'm gonna blow up on those. I don't know if that's a... I don't know if that'll do anything. Is this doing anything? That did something. Yes, back away from the coast! Thank you. I, I appreciate all the money he's sending me, but I feel like he should be spending that himself, as uh, I, you know, I don't know the population to fight everybody. I can't be in all these places at once. I can't work under these conditions. Do 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 Ah, uh, hopefully mate dude, yes. Usually I do three games a stream. I might have to cut today's stream slightly short, because I have to go early today. Friends birthday party in the evening. Wow, that's a lot of unit production facilities. Holy crap, this is why we're making autographs. <laughs> Oh, this is why we're making autographs. Please, for the love of God, kill all of them. Just one, just one shot. Oh, he's, he's, he's not clumping as hard. Fire. Fire. You guys can see me click, right? Just fire. Just move up. You can do it. The little onager that could. There we go. That's some sick value. Fire again. Good, good. It's my man. Don't you... Forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you. Come on, man. Oh, why is this game so hard? I don't have the population to fight on all these fronts. He's too powerful, guys. I'm giving it all she's got now. Oh, my God. 
I mean, I know the game's not over, but ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, purple's still in the castle age. Why isn't Grace slinging him? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Come on, buddy. You're ace in the hole. We need you. <sighs> Orange is well balanced army. I like his army a lot. Teal as well, mixing in all sorts of jazz. Makes this real hard. Well. Well, if he is a smurf, he is the most obvious smurf I've ever seen. But I like to give people the benefit of doubt, because it might just be an accident. However, in my viewer games, I do get smurfed a lot, which sucks. Uh, but generally, I try to ignore it. And this, though, it's, you know, just somewhat obvious. <laughs> I would give them the benefit of the doubt, though, uh, as not everybody is just, a, you know, trying to smurf just to be a douche and stomp some noobs. Smurfing, of course, is when you, uh, this is actually kind of a rampant issue in AV2 HD, uh, and to a lesser degree on Boobly, where you, like, make an alternate account with a lower rating so you can go stomp some noobs. Uh, some people do it for multiple reasons. Uh, I would like to give this guy the benefit of the doubt, as perhaps he's just new to HD, and he's just never played here before, uh, and he just comes from, uh, Boobly or something like that. Uh, who knows? I think, uh, I think it's mostly safe to call this game, right? I mean, it's not like the enemy team is really making substantial progress, but I'll be the first to admit that we're not either. It's too many, it's too many players. <laughs> Nothing Mass Longman can't fix. Indeed, hello, nasty one. Now, not all Smurfs are necessarily. They don't, not all Smurfs uh, do it just to, you know, get their quick fix and just, you know, wreck some face for fun. Uh, a lot of them do it, or some of them say they do it at least because uh, it's hard to find a game on the upper ranks in AOE 2 HD. Uh, where, yeah, there's just less t players at the top level and they just want to play a game. I'd counteract that point, though, by saying that uh, it still doesn't mean you should ruin games for everyone else. It's probably worth the wait. Uh, blah blah blip bloop Because, like, the problem with something like smurfing, like, it's not a huge deal, like, on my stream. Well, it kind of is, because, uh, you know, a lot of these guys have never played a game before with me. Uh, and I want to make sure it's good. It's more like, uh, smurfs scare away new players. Like, they sign up for, like, an online game, you know, they're, like, sweating, they're super nervous, you know, there's, like, a puddle forming underneath them. They're like, alright, I've been playing against the AI for, like, 30 years now. I am ready to make the next step. Let's do this world, and he comes out there, and he's dead in ten minutes, and it's like the saddest thing ever. And then like that guy is just is just so sad, and he like never plays online again. Uh, and then like uh, some really sad violin music uh, turns on. It's just awful. So I try to avoid uh, situations like that for sure. Also, if this guy just really wants to get a game, uh, he could very easily just join the higher rated matches. That's why I have, uh... I do like a, a, like, sort of like mixed rated match, which is like the, you know, 1400 to 1800 range, and then we do like an 1800 plus match. That way everyone can get a rock solid game. Okay, we lost. <laughs> We tried, boys. It's no problem. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. As long as you had fun. And that's always my big concern. I want to make sure everyone's having a good time. And I think this was a pretty good game, even though, uh... Even though things were uh, unexpectedly difficult, I still thought it was really good. I don't know, man. Uh, this game has gone on for a while. I don't think... Rating will do anything. All right, GG, well played, boys. Get him next time.
you guys did well. Major credit uh, to Purple for not complaining and trying your best. All right, GG. Next time. Darth Molly says, "Ha, huh, Resonance 22. You just described my first experience." Played my first online game after months of destroying the AI and lost in 8 minutes. Didn't play online for like 2 weeks. Yeah. That's my biggest concern is I see that uh, Age of Empires 2 statistically has really, as a game, it's really bad at maintaining a player base. Uh, we get new players who come in all the time, but if you check like the Steam chart... Oh, that music is too sad. I don't want to listen to that. So I'm going to alt-tab. Um, when you check like the Steam charts, we see the... Uh, like a lot of new players come in at times during sales, new content, like big updates, and then they don't last. Like the game, like the the numbers always like steadily drop off. And I think that like the uh, player retention issue comes from a huge fact where like the multiplayer experience can be all over the place. You never really know how good someone is based off their rating, uh, and I think I think it scares a lot of players away. So. That's something that I always worry about is, since Age of Empires 2 is a game that I love so very much, I want to see it succeed and be awesome. Uh, and I think that one of the best ways for it to succeed and be awesome is with fresh blood. And uh, I think that one of the best ways to ensure that we actually get fresh blood would be some sort of way, an improved multiplayer system. I don't know if there's like any plans to address uh, the whole smurfing thing by Microsoft and the current developer team, but I think it's something that they should really look into, at least a more improved multiplayer lobby system. Something more along the lines of, uh, of Voobly, I think. Maybe we could have a way where like players can pick their starting... E well, I don't know. Picking their starting either would make a huge difference. There's also like the opposite end of the spectrum, where like players will like play against their friends uh, since and, and just farm rating off them. Because uh, you can do that, and then they'll like, get to 2k, but they're like actually really bad. So, eh, it goes both ways, I guess. Uh, maybe like a quick match system instead of uh, the lobbies. Like maybe lobbies don't be ranked, and we have like a quick match. I'm not sure. I feel like that's something that should uh, should need addressing, though. That's just my opinion. At least when I talk to people, it seems like a huge problem for them. Do 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 do. Hardstyle strategist says. Resonance 22, this is why your tutorials are so important. I couldn't have gotten into the game without them. And that's why I want to do more tutorials, so thank you, man. It's on the to-do list. Tetridi says, Resonance 22 has shown dishonorable display. Now he must commit Sudoku to restore honor. Indeed, Ted. <laughs> I've been playing a little bit of uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, dude. George Takei plays the Japanese Emperor. That game is sick. Yeah, time to commit honorable Subaru, dude. Oh, rip me. Rip. Yep. It's just uh, it's just too easily exploitable. Uh, you know, part of it would be, I don't know if you can turn off the family sharing option for HD, but I think it might be worthwhile to, to do that to address this. Sure, it might piss some people off, but I think it, it definitely hampers the multiplayer experience. So matchmaking would be good. Who knows, man? I just like to point this thing out, you know, get the, some dialogue moving forward. Because as a community, you know, we'll never... You know, like, we've accomplished so much... Uh, and that by having this conversation, hopefully something, uh, you know, something awesome gets done, uh, and the game gets to continue to improve and just be awesome. Thank you, L0223. Appreciate it. I'm glad you had fun, Narengi. I had a blast. I will do some more tutorials, Head Taker. Some more advanced, uh, material for sure. I do still play League, yes, Greedo. Oh, indeed. Oh, my God, you're right. There were some fish in the water, and, yeah, I, I, that's just how it goes. I mean, I don't really mind. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like rating. Let's check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel. I've got everything you need in the video description and more. Plenty more Age of Empires 2 videos as well as videos of other games. Love to have you at my live stream. I'm going to be right back, guys. We're going to take a brief break and jump straight into the next game. This game is fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I should have built uh, some scorpions for fun, mate, dude, but I think the mangonels are really good because uh, I was trying to deal with their onagers and bombard cannons. All right, we're going to be right back.